Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Today, I'm giving you my first impressions of a PvP game in the M8 Thunderbolt. Now, I've played this in PvE and it's very good, but I haven't actually played it in PvE until just now, so I thought I'd bring you this very first replay uh, of me playing the M8 Thunderbolt. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Thunderbolt is, it is the Tier 9 light tank, the top of the line light tank in the game at the moment. It's armed with a 120mm gun with a great reload of 6.63 seconds in my current configuration. This is not with any form of retrofits. It does have the best ammunition which has 654mm of penetration, which is incredible. And additionally you get some good heat pen as well. However, you're going to see what the heat pen, or rather what the heat looks like later on in this replay. So as you can see it has good mobility, light tank performance is generally good. Its armour is again mediocre, well in fact poor uh, for the tier, very poor for the tier in fact. Uh, it's 18mm on the front with the slope and everywhere else it's much thinner and flatter. You see there I'm getting hit by the occasional round from what was a weasel and I got penetrated with one of them from the front. So I think that one hit the front of the turret showing you how the armour is not to be trusted, even against autocans. However, the gun is very accurate and high damage, and I like it thus far. It is a very, very nice gun. The matchmaker is also very kind to me because A tier 9 at the moment in this game, not many people play it because the grind is quite long uh, and generally more people are at lower tiers. So there's only three tier nines on each team, and there's quite a few tier sevens and eights. I rush forward, going at 70 kilometers an hour, try and put a shot into the back of the team 9 EMS. However, I'm now behind him, and can easily damage him for 719. That was a critical hit into the engine. And in fact, when I was playing, it said it was an overmatch. So we help out our Leo 2A5 there. Now, the map that we're playing on Coastal Threat is very good for this type of vehicle, I will admit. The map gives you good opportunities to flank and be fast and sneaky uh, and all kinds of things really, especially to do with the southern end of the map from about the F line down really. And we've managed to get over to the enemy side, or the enemy spawn area, with minimal resistance. The M1128 was here but he's obviously fled, he's quite a fast vehicle as well. Seems our top speed is 70 kph, or kilometers an hour rather. And I can see a Challenger up there, my first round misses, and I now load heat. One of them goes in for 600, and the heat rounds are a uh, tad unpredictable. Well, I say that, they, they have a long drop at distance. This is quite a large distance for me fighting that Challenger 1 at the back there, uh, or the back of that Challenger 1. The shell has a large drop, uh, or rather it arcs a lot. So we do manage to eventually destroy him, but we do waste a few heat rounds in trying to do so. Regardless, we get the kill. I'm looking for this M109, but I don't really want to charge in front of the C1 area. I don't really want to take around 600 damage from my own team and that definitely would have happened and it would have been my fault because I would have gone in front of his gun. Now I thought to myself I don't really want to fight that M1128 because even though I am a higher tier and we both have similar armor i.e. none, the M1128 has a much better reload, it's a 4.92 second reload autoloader and I thought I could get around the map here but turns out I cannot at all. So, up the hill we go anyway. But yeah, fighting the M1128 in terms of raw DPM would have been a bad idea, especially because I haven't got my tank retrofitted with any tank handling, uh, gun handling slots. Tried to get up that hill there, <laughs> kind of messed it up a little bit. Challenger 1, 
He gets one hit into us and we damage him for 529 straight through his driver's port. Here's a tier 7 vehicle and 654 pen is going to go through him very quickly. My second shot I aimed for the same position, however I could not connect. Three enemies left now, M1A1, the striker and the crab. Now the crab, if I had encountered him, would have killed me. Or rather, he would have done an incredible amount of damage before I would have been able to kill him. The striker goes down and it's just the M1A1 left. I accidentally crash into the leopard and that's it. Game over. Not a bad little first round in the M8. Nothing hugely spectacular but I enjoy this vehicle if you have certain things going your way. I'll elaborate more when we look at the post-game stats. So looking at the post-game stats there for the M8 Thunderbolt, we can see that we managed to get 15,000 reputation, 268,000 credits. This does have a boost on at the moment because I did purchase the wolf vehicles. 4,500 damage, 5 spots and 2 kills. No awards and obviously no gifts and loot because they're not in the game yet. I did have Sabrina Washington on because I wanted to boost my view range. Um, so if I had a different commander I may well have got better gun handling. The teams I came second on damage, 4,500 and the Centauri 120 came top on 4,600 damage. Maybe I should have been on top but I was getting a feel for how the gun played. So well played to that Centauri. The uh, enemy team did some good damage as well, the Leopard 2A5 gaining 4,500 damage of his own. So, shots fired 15, 11 hits and 4 misses, 2 enemies destroyed, we could have done 1300 more damage but we missed those shots, and I think one of them bounced, or a couple of them bounced maybe. The credits you can see, we made tasty profit. So there you go, that's the M8 Thunderbolt. I think... Like I said in the replay, it's a good vehicle. If you're playing it in PvE, you'll have a great time with it. Just be careful for things with auto loaders and auto cannons. Things which can out DPM you or DPS you will kill you very, very easily. Crabs, the. Uh, what's it called? The Ramker, the Terminator 2, or the BMP T72, rather. Things like this, things with 30mm or 25mm cannons, they will kill you very quickly. Your speed is good, but it isn't exceptionally good compared to AFVs. 70km hour top speed. Then again, this is completely without retrofits. It does have the top ammunition, it doesn't have the smoke launchers, it doesn't have the top engine. Um, because I can't afford it, because the modules cost so much. And yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this first look. I think it is a good vehicle. Uh, and one other thing, the heat is a bit iffy at longer ranges. So, as always, I've been Jurgen, this has been the M8 Thunderbolt on Coastal Threat, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.